This video is on dynamic host configuration protocol. All systems require IP addresses to communicate, but it is a lot of work to assign IP addresses to individual systems manually. DHCP or dynamic host configuration protocol is an automated network management protocol used to dynamically assign an IP address to a system. It centrally manages configurations and doesn't require network admins to manually assign IP addresses unless needed for specific reasons. It runs on the application layer of TCP IP to both dynamically assign IP addresses and to allocate TCP IP configuration information like the subnet mask to default addresses. Let's talk about how it works. When you connect a system that is configured to use DHCP to the network, it's going to broadcast a packet to look for the DHCP server. This packet is known as DHCP discover packet. The DHCP server is always listening for this specific packet. It will pick up this packet and compare it to the request with the scopes it has defined. A DHCP scope is a valid range of IP addresses that are available for assignment or lease on a particular subnet. One can configure scope options such as having it supply a specific address to a system, which is also known as reservation. Reservations are a mean by which you can still use DHCP for a system, but at the same time guarantee that it always has the same IP address. When you base it off MAC address, it's known as MAC reservations. DHCP can also be configured for exclusions, also known as IP exclusions. Exclusion range is a pool of IP addresses in the scope that is excluded from being leased. Once it finds that it has a scope for a network from which the packet originated, it will choose an address from that scope, reserve it, and send the address along with any other information such as lease duration back to the system. All of this reply back to the new system is known as DHCP offer packet. This packet will come back to the newly connected system to be accepted. By default, DHCP operates on port 67 and 68. With dynamic DHCP, the IP address assigned is not assigned but leased. Lease duration is the length of time for which the IP address can be used before lease renewal is required. This is useful for scenarios like temporary employees needing IP addresses for their systems or for systems that admins know will be replaced. Simply put, it makes systems that aren't using IP addresses anymore give up their IP addresses, making it available within the pool. On the other hand, we have static assignment. Statically assigning IP addresses makes IP addresses permanent to a specific system until removed. A DHCP server manages numerous data, it contains all IP addresses it has allocated and its corresponding MAC addresses, so that if a node is relocated, it can identify it to prevent the accidental configuration of multiple devices with the same IP address. However, with all this data, the DHCP server can easily get bogged down trying to respond to all these requests. This is why we have DHCP Relay. DHCP Relay acts as a middleman for the systems and the server. This feature is useful when working with clients on different subnets because a client cannot communicate directly with the server until it has the IP configuration information assigned to it. DHCP Relay is simply a feature that is used by a switch, also known as Relay Agent, to allow DHCP communication between the hosts and the remote DHCP server that are not on the same network. You will need to use IP Helper Address Command for configuring the router as a DHCP Relay Agent. IP Helper Address is simply the command that is used to enable DHCP Relay in routers.